Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be checking out the brand new update on Arm Wrestling Simulator. Let's get right into this. So the main thing that they added in this update is actually Lucky Blocks. So these Lucky Blocks spawn randomly throughout the map, and I believe that gives you a little notification at the bottom when they spawn. So these Lucky Blocks can only spawn in worlds that you unlocked. And also, by the way, whenever the Lucky Blocks do spawn, only you can see them. So that means if you're in a public server, other people can't steal the Lucky Blocks because like everyone has their own so yeah so you don't need to worry about other people stealing them but yeah we just have to go ahead and wait for one spawn but also in this update they did add pet leveling we can collect snacks from bosses feed our pets and level them up so over here let's go ahead and select a pet probably our beacon pet because i don't think leveling these up is going to do anything so these as you can see it's only level one currently leveling them up doesn't do anything but they said in the next update it is gonna like do something i'm assuming that's probably gonna like increase how much boost it gives so yeah so i recommend recommend getting your pet all the way leveled up so then once they release the next update it would just be really good so these are the snacks right here so i believe we can get these from lucky blocks but it also says we can get them from bosses right here so we'll check that out but we'll do that in just a second because they didn't add it in the update notes right here but they did revamp the like index so now it looks so much better previously the index was just full of like random things like it was full of every single pet and it was just like kind of jumbled together but now you can sort through the words like this and sort through every egg just see which ones you have unlocked and season three over here and dang how have i not unlocked that one that's kind of weird but yeah so we can easily sort through all of them and see what we haven't unlocked so pretty sure i unlocked everything from those eggs right there and i actually haven't unlocked everything from these ones i unlocked those those and yeah i haven't unlocked that one right there because i have so much luck game passes that's impossible for me to get that so i have to get an all town and trade over here so those ones dang i actually haven't hatched any of those eggs then over here these are like some limited time eggs this one is a crystal leg right here that i also haven't opened any of yet so that is also pretty interesting then we have the limited time atlantis pets thing i still don't have the ghost crab that's pretty interesting that they added the limited pets in here as well and then these ones at the very bottom i can't even see them because it's not allowing me to go down there but yeah pretty good i'm assuming down there is like just more exclusive pets for like robux let's also go ahead and teleport to world 5 while we go ahead and wait for the lucky blocks to spawn and let's go ahead and defeat this dude but before they do that they also added this quest back right here the quest for the the crates so yeah if you're a beginning game player you can easily do this and i think anyone can do this now the lp quest previously only people who had vip could do it but i think anyone can do it now it's just like a little bit more difficult but yeah let's go ahead and modify this dude and see if he gives us anything so he gives us some wins right there i don't have my lucky pets equipped so yeah but let's just afk him for like maybe two minutes and see if he gives us any food so we've now been afk this boss right here for about like a minute to two minutes and let's see if we got anything so i did check the notes and it it did say that bosses are able to give you snacks but yeah it looks like we have nothing so far so i wonder how much of each snack the boss gives you because i feel like since we've been afking the boss for like two minutes and we got like nothing they must give you like more than one every time you defeat them not every time you defeat them but whenever you do get them they must give you more than one so yeah that's pretty interesting but for the ghost beacon right here it takes 130 xp to level up and a lucky block has spawned and there it is right there awesome so let's go ahead and open Open it so only i can see this one right now like everyone else in the server well actually there's no one in the server but if there were other people they would all have like their own lucky block so only i can destroy this one gain that much strength to break the crate all right so let's go ahead and grab this one it should be pretty easy it'll just take like 20 or so seconds so apparently we are able to get these secret pets from this lucky block as well it's just like kind of rare but we are able to get the secret pets from it so hopefully we're able to do that and while we're waiting for us to break this open they did also add new robux pets so these robux pets right here they did go ahead and restock them and added some new ones so we got earth mars jupiter and saturn so it is kind of cool that they did replace them but once again i'm not gonna be getting any of these because they're pretty bad like best friend seven i'm not finna pay like 17,000 robux for best friend seven only one pet so yeah i'm okay and there we go we broke it open so we got that much wins i actually have no idea how much wins that is but i don't think that's too much i think that's equivalent to like if we were to be this person over here twice without like any win boost but if if i quit my winner winner pets right over here then i would probably get like a hundred times that so yeah that's not really too good but let's just go ahead and wait for another lucky block spawn and maybe we'll go ahead and see it so it's now been around 10 minutes in another lucky block spawn so i'm not really sure what the time on these is but i think one spawns every like 10 or so minutes so let's go ahead and do this and this one requires a lot less strength like i'm barely getting any strength right now because i have my lucky pets equipped right here my lucky pets instead of my good pets so so there is a time limit on it 
Nintendo, which I wasn't really paying attention if one popped up or not, and a legendary snack pack. All right, let's go. So the lucky blocks might spawn around every five or so minutes. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, oh dang, okay. So I guess this is all we got. I thought we would get some bones just because it showed like a little bone emoji at the bottom. So yeah, but it looks like we only got this stuff. I mean, it's still all right. Let's go ahead and do this and fed your pet. Which one? I don't even know. Like, all right, I'm not really sure which one it fed. Did it feed like this one? And okay, so it did feed this one. Okay, that is kind of weird. So let's go ahead and do this to unequip all. So I think we have to have one pet equipped. So this one right here. So this one requires 130. And now let's go ahead and try. So let's feed it. And now let's see. And okay, so it did work that time. All right. So let's just go ahead and consume like all of these right there. All right, now let's go ahead and check it. So there we go. Now it's level five. So these levels currently don't do anything during this update. But next update, they said that they are going to make it do something. So it'll probably increase like how much boost you get. So that's going to be pretty cool. And also they said that these lucky blocks do spawn in random worlds. So yeah, you could set up a macro that's just like if you have the teleport game pass could set up a macro that just like switches between worlds every like minute so then if a lucky block spawns in that world you'll be able to destroy it and you could like do that all while like afk and strength so that would actually be a pretty good thing to do which so far the two lucky blocks that have spawned all spawned in world six so if they continue to spawn in world six then i could just afk strength and destroy lucky blocks at the same time let's also go ahead and consume all of these apples i wonder where the max level is i think the max level is like 50 so let's check it out and all right there we go it's now level six so we definitely want some of these godly bones right here so, so these godly bones would definitely help us the most and now let's just continue to go afk again and see if another lucky block spawns and here we go another lucky block spawns. so let's go ahead and grab something to start training so let's actually equip our best pets for this one because it is in world four so let's go ahead and equip our best right here and now we can probably train like anything so let's just punch this real quick and there we go it's going down like crazy let's actually grab this and then just watch it so there we go and we got plus five spins all right that's not too bad i saw someone on discord who got like plus 25 spins from a single one so that's actually pretty good so you can stack up on wins which i have like so much wins right now because i got like all of these from this season pass right here because i bought it like 10 times and each time you buy it gives you like tons of spins well actually it looks like it only gives you 15 spins but yes yeah, so i have tons of spins right here so i guess i'll just keep stacking up and also since this lucky block spawned in world four that means that's not gonna spawn in the same world as you every time Time. so that means if you do want to afk lucky blocks you have to like kind of go between worlds i mean if you want to afk strength you will also afk lucky blocks because eventually the lucky block will spawn in the same world if you do go afk lucky blocks will definitely spawn in the same world as you but if afk and lucky blocks is like your main goal you'll probably want to like afk strength as well so like grab some knuckles over here afk knuckle strength and then just set up a macro to teleport between every world and then just chill in that world for like 30 seconds kind of depends on how much strength you're gaining but like the spawn world over here maybe afk in this world for like 10 seconds go over here and just afk in like every world for maybe 30 seconds and then that's gonna be a pretty good way to go ahead and like afk the strength and yeah that's everything that they added in this update though so that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video